this organization because I'm actually also a CASA. And um, CASAs are court appointed special advocates and we work with foster care children, we advocate for them to support their educational needs and their health needs and their physical, economic, we work with their social workers, we work with their lawyers, we work with their, their foster families. And um, CASA is the biggest organization in the country doing a job nobody else does, which is helping foster care children navigate the system and supporting their needs. I think they're pretty much the most important they're the most important charity out there in so many ways because when you think about it, children obviously are our most vulnerable population. And children who don't have families, there's no one voting for them, right? They can't vote. They don't have parents who are voting. They're truly on their own. So they don't have a political voice. And so it's so important that we as a country come together to take care of these children who have been abandoned in so many ways who and who are and also who disproportionately end up suicidal, homeless, addicted. Um, um, it's very hard when they transition out of the system. So there's all these things we need to support them with and CASA can support them all the way through. And I'm so excited that I'm part of it. I'm glad to be here supporting the event. I'm so glad that I'm a CASA too. I, I, it's been a great joy to me to train and become one. So. And giving back is so great, and that's very important work. Um, so, can you tell us about your work on Silicon Valley? How are you enjoying that? <laughs> I, I feel that, um, like, the, the good fairy dropped down and gave me the best gift that anyone could give when, when I got the role of Lori on Silicon Valley. Um, I'm working with this group of people who is incredibly kind and funny and generous and I have a pretty easy schedule because Lori's, you know, she, she's not 20 and in the house. So the boys do all the hard work. I come in <laughs> once in a while and I get to say stuff written by, you know, Carrie Kemper and Alec um, Berg and Mike Judge and all these great writers. It, it's just, it's a true pleasure and I laugh all the time at work and I, you know, I get to work with a friend because so much of my stuff that I do is with Amanda. And it's just, um, I feel very lucky. It's a fun job and a great show. I think our episode three this year is great. Awesome. Thank you so much. This is Hollywood Glam Magazine at the Beverly Hilton celebrating the CASA Charity Gala. And um, it's such a great cause tonight. So. I think the work that Casa's doing is fantastic, you know, helping get kids off the street, helping get them treatment for whatever issues that they're dealing with. You know, um, I grew up in a single parent household and my mom also happens to be adopted. So this, this cause is particularly close to my heart uh, because it's, it, you know, it tackles something that I've, I've personally dealt with. I've always actually vowed to adopt a kid, you know, uh, once I'm in a, in a position to and kind of getting there now. but. Um, yeah, it's, it's a great cause. Um, I, I hope that they never end and that they make everything that they need to make in order to help make a difference in these kids' lives. You know, they're our future. You know, they're our tomorrow. So speaking of getting there, how is your career going? You've just been in um, a Sony film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, life's not bad right now. Uh, Jumanji did great at the box office, so we're really proud of that. Uh, they actually just started writing a second installment of Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle. Um, I'm currently working on Charmed on the CW as well. Fantastic castmates, got a great, you know, producing setup up there as well. So, loving Vancouver, British Columbia. Shout out to Vancouver, Van City. Uh, and I got a film coming out later this year called The Last Full Measure with Samuel L. Jackson and Ed Harris and Sebastian Stan. So, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Just push it for more, always. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and so, where do you see yourself in, I don't know, five years? In five years, hopefully I'll have a six-pack and a girlfriend. I don't know. Uh, no, honestly, I just want to be working consistently, making opportunities for other people. Um, producing is very heavily on my mind right now and, and writing as well. So those are two huge focal points for me right now. And, uh, yeah, just trying to be the best guy I can possibly be, you know, not piss too many people off. So. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it.